Hey guys, welcome to Snail Tube. This here is Zeus, my Akatina Felica giant African land snail. You might be wondering why I have a giant African land snail in my hand, it's because he's my, one of my pets. Um, you can see my other pet, Akatina Felica, just in the hide there. It is a bit dark, I'm sorry. Um, he's currently asleep up at the top of that plant pot. So I just want to basically say how I think snails are some of the best pets you can have and I'll give you several reasons. Um, first of all, snails are fantastic for handling as long as you slightly wet your hand before it's perfectly safe for them and perfectly safe for you to handle them. They don't bite, they um, might gently rasp at your hand which is where they use their mouth um, to basically test if anything's food and if they find food they can break bits of food off but they can't hurt your hand, your hand will be perfectly fine with them doing that and it kind of tickles, gives you like a tickly sensation not too different to how a cat, what a cat's tongue feels like when it licks you um, another good reason is snails are very cheap to keep I mean I'm keeping them in this plastic container which I picked up for about £3 at my local range store and you can see I keep them with peat compost I put a bit of decoration in, that's a flower pot in there that I had lying around and I bought a flake plant to make it look a bit more naturalistic but this whole setup including the snails I think cost me no more than 12 13 pounds which for a pet you can't really beat I know when I bought was buying hamster stuff years ago um, the cage alone sets you back 30 quid and then the hamsters another tenner and before you know it you've racked up 50 60 quid for an animal these guys dirt cheap. Another great thing about them is that they live quite a long time. I think African land snails, giant land snails, they live on average about five years. Um, obviously individuals live longer and shorter depending on genetics and I think but they're relatively long lived animals which means that when you get these guys you know you're gonna have them for the long run. See he's wandering around on top of my hand there. Climb around. See he's about to rasp on my hand. Turn him back around so we can see from this angle. Another great thing of these guys is if they escape, you know they're not going to get very far before you can catch them. And thankfully they leave slime trails, so you'll be able to find them pretty easily. Unlike, as you can see in the background, I'm looking at spider videos. If a spider escapes, tarantula, it, it, it's an absolute nightmare to get them back in. Especially if they've got a head start on you. I just think snails are great, and I think I'd, li I'd like you guys to like snails as well. They're so easy to keep. I just miss this tank once a day. But food in, they eat re pretty much anything, like any fruit or vegetables. You obviously avoid stuff with salt in it, because like slugs, snails don't like salt, and it's bad for them because it dehydrates them and kills them. So, but here I've got banana in for them. I fed them lettuce, cabbage, um, apple, pepper, even sunflower seeds and hemp seeds which they really like and it gives them extra calcium and um, protein which they need to grow and be healthy. Yeah, snails are great, really easy. Thank you for uh, coming and checking out this video. I will post more videos in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you soon.